another small peek into the patch 7 beta that just got released. Uh, in this battle we will test the effectiveness of formation attack against Ulfzorn. So I'm going to put Praetorian Guard in... Usually Praetorian Guard would lose in a head-on engagement against Ulfzorn. However, now I'm going to turn off formation attack and see how they're able to do that. Their stats should make them do a whole lot better now. And as you can see, uh, infantry got their hit points increased. So they both have 55 health. And let's see what happens when charging now. I'm not going to use any abilities. Um, the opponent might use some abilities. So they are throwing the Pila. First two ranks throwing Pila. And now Praetorian Guard that aren't in formation attack. Instead of doing what they used to do. Which is namely going back into the formation here. They are actually wrapping around the Ulfzorn. And as you can see, they are doing what the Barbarians used to do against them. Still, they are losing. Fairly decisively, I'd say. Because the Ozorn still have their 35 charge bonus, while the Praetorian Guard have their 19 charge bonus. So the Ozorn are doing better against the Praetorian Guard, but the Praetorian Guard are doing better than they would do if they had formation attack on. So now that I've lost uh, quite a few guys here, I'm going to use the whip on them to give them a slight edge. And as you can see, the whip increased their melee attack and their weapon damage just very, very slightly. Um, now the armor piercing is 10. And for the Ozorn, the armor piercing is... Well, I'm not able to see it right now, but... Here you can see, the fight evens out because more of the Praetorian Guard are attacking the Ozorn. So, in this test, although I used the whip, the Praetorian Guard win with a massive 55 men remaining. Now what will be interesting to see here is if the same thing happens if I put formation attack on. So now I'm going to use the old formation attack and see if they have improved the target seeking. And I'm going to go for the same depth, four men deep. Now let's see how they do against the old zone. I'm getting, this is of course, um, there are very few units on the field here, but I'm getting 60 FPS. A stable 60 FPS at each level of zooming. So now I'm going to charge and see how they do. Now, you saw, you saw that? They shifted their lines back and now fewer of the Praetorian Guard are attacking the Ozorn. So the Praetorian Guard should be losing uh, more decisively now. But it looks like since uh, fewer of the Praetorian the Guard are um, fighting, then fewer are dying as well. But actually, this is really surprising. Uh, the Praetorian Guard survived this time with 60 men remaining. So maybe because the general was in the unit, I don't know. But as you can see here, they are able to kill 84 Oldstorm on the charge. So that is potentially huge for... Uh, how the how the heavy melee rushes of of the um, of the more civilized factions with formation attack do. So thanks for watching and see you again.